Hey guys, welcome to the part 4 of painting facial features. I hope you enjoyed this series and learned something new. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw and paint realistic ears. The same rules apply here as well. So in these references, you can see how different the angles of ear are. You would want to measure the start and the end point of the ear if you are making a portrait and kind of see how far or close they are from other features. and of course the angles so i'm marking start and end points and starting with an oval here there is a small oval beneath it and then kind of joining the circle together considering the angles of the ear i'm moving my hand in a sketchy way start light holding the pencil close to the end so just adding the small parts inside the ear and now going a bit dark and shading a bit Now I'm going to painting. The same method applies here, going dark to light, kind of outlining a bit and going loose. So as I did in the whole series, the same rule of warm and cool goes here. If you still haven't watched the previous parts of this series, please go and watch them now. They will really help you in understanding how to draw and paint the portraits. These small paintings are fun and they help you in training your eyes to kind of see those forms and shapes so that you capture the essence of that feature in your art. So do watch the whole series. So for highlights I'm mixing white and pale yellow and other warm tones of orange and pink and just applying on the areas that come forward there are many folds and dips in the ears and I'm softening each time there is a hard stroke as we are painting human skin and it should look smooth Sometimes all you need to do is apply highlights and shadows show up themselves. So it's done. I hope the series was fun and helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications every time I post a new video. See you then. Bye.